Good morning, good morning, happy Sunday, happy first Sunday of October. Happy first Sunday of October. We thank God for the gift of life. We thank God for making it possible for us to see another new month. We want to thank this great mighty God that has done these great things in our life. He has waking us up this morning, healthy, sound. We appreciate this good God for today. I bring you the word of God today that says what God requires from us. What it takes for God to require something great in our lives. That is the word for today. So let me go quickly to the book of Psalm, chapter 15. Psalm 15, verse 1. I will read to the end. It says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? To he that walketh uprightly and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a veiled person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own heart and changeth not. Five, the last. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. So, this word of God is trying to tell us that we as believers, we should live uprightly. We should live uprightly doing the right thing in life. Not doing things in our own will. But let God lead us in anything that we are doing. Let God lead us. And let God be number one. The first thing that we will seek ask what really he wants us to acquire and what he requires from us like God requires us to be faithful to be truthful to be honest not to do certain things on our own will so that is what God requires from us. He wants us to be spiritually filled. He wants us to be able to know that He is the creator of our life. Even when we are going astray, God always shows us His love and brings us back to Himself. He brings us back. He makes us to understand that he is the only one that can take this breath away. And he is the one that can create it. So, always know that the word of God is powerful. God requires many things in our life. We should abstain from sin. Abstain from sin. As a believer, you have to abstain from sin and make sure that you always attach yourself in doing good. Don't spoil somebody else because you want to achieve something. There are a lot of things going on, even where I live. A lot of people, they will just forge story and say about somebody. You know, they will just say it, which does, never existed which is the power of tongue. We should watch the way we use our tongue. 
watch the way you use your tongue against people because you don't know who that person is and you don't know how God is in the life of that person and you try to use your tongue to backbite which was stated in the bible of uh, when you read it in the uh, psalm 15 do not backbite against one another pulling down your neighbor because you want to achieve something you want to prove something let god continue to expose those that does not want to see us reign in life. Let God continue to destroy their evil agenda upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. I will quickly read another verse which uh, says in the book of Ephesians Ephesians chapter 4 verse 20 to 24 It said But ye have not so learned Christ if so, be that ye have had him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former cons conversation, that, is, that ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, that's your old man your past which is corrupt according to the deceitful deceitful lust you can see that word which is corrupt according to the deceitful deceitful lust it is common with our people today they are so deceitful deception among brethren we pray that God will continue to expose those evil ones around us in the mighty name of Jesus. And it says in 23, And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Renew your spirit. Cleanse your spirit. Let your heart be pure. Make sure your heart is pure before God can use you, before God can make you a vessel in his vineyard. Make your heart clean. Be clean and you will see the glory of God upon your life. And 24 said, And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Did you see it? He said, and that ye put on the new man. When you put on the new man, that's a clean spirit. Your soul has been purified by Jesus. You have acknowledged your sin. You have acknowledged that uh, there are things I'm not supposed to do, which you have abstained from. So now God, which after God is created in righteousness, and true holiness that is you will become holier when you become become holy god will continue to use you god will continue to manifest himself in you he com he will continue to use you like never use you like never before you will see a new spirit when you see people doing evil you will just have that dissentment that dissentment spirit you will just acknowledge it that this person is evil even the way they pass you you will feel that evil in their life in their body that evil you will see it surrounding them it has happened to me many times when they just pass me i will just feel that evil flame i will now know ah this person mm. if the other person this change is mm, is a goner you cannot fight who god is protecting you cannot fight who god is using you cannot fight who god has raised 
I am blessed today because God has raised me. He has brought me this far to know who is re who he really is in my life. That is why I always like to encourage others for you to know that there is no sin that God cannot cleanse. There is no sin that God cannot change your life for. Don't think that you have committed the worst in nine. God is always there. If you ask him for forgiveness, if you pray diligently, you will see him manifesting. Manifesting his glory upon your life. And you will see changes. You continue to see changes, changes, changes. And so you will see that the glory of God has come upon you. And you will be you will, you you will enjoy doing good things, doing things that you you would like to know God more. Because by the time you start knowing Him more, you He comes to talk to you spiritually, and you will now become to get the understanding that so that is how God operates. So I pray that you people should try to build your spiritual life and let God lead in your life today. We thank God for today because today is another Sunday, which is the first Sunday of the month of October. We pray that God will continue to lead us our week that we are coming in this period will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Make sure you pray and tell somebody else out there that Jesus saves and Jesus is the greatest in their life. And may your week be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. As we go to church today, may God answer all our secret prayers. And whatever we want to lay our hands to do in this month of October, God will take over and bless us and we will reap and we will, we will reap good fruits and we will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. So have a wonderful Sunday today. So thank you for viewing and make sure you Touch the star button. The star button is down there. Touch it and encourage me so that I can be blessed through you too. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bye for now. In my life, oh my Father. I give you all my praise. You alone will take all the glory. In the presence of the saints, every power be lifted up, be lifted up. You alone are worthy to be praised. You alone will take all the glory. Glory. Oh no. Glory. Oh no. Glory. Oh no. Glory. Oh no. Glory, oh no, oh no, glory, oh no. Let us saints praise the Lord today. In the highest, let us saints praise you. In the highest, let's make joyful noise. In the highest, let my praise reach you. In the highest, let my song reach you. In the highest, let my song greet you. In the highest, let us saints praise you. In the highest, let us saints praise you. In the highest, in the highest, in the highest, song greet you. In the highest, touch the star button and bless me. So bye.